Hi everyone. Now uh, today I'll be talking about the a very basic thing that is sweep speed and what is the significance of sweep speed? When do we want to change it? What is actually sweep speed? Now instead of going into the physics part of sweep speed or the de very deep, deeper details of sweep speed, I'll just be concentrating on the practical part. What does sweep speed do? Practically sweep speed, it determines how many waves you see on the screen in one frame whenever you are doing anything which involves the pulses like pulse wave Doppler M mode. No, in these conditions, how many pulses you are going to see, how many waves you are going to see on this on the screen in one frame that is determined by sweep speed. So if the sweep speed is low, you will see a number of waves in one frame. If the sweep speed is high, you will see less waves in one frame, right? So whenever higher the sweep speed, less is the number of waves on the screen. Lower the sweep speed, higher is the number of waves on the screen. Now I'll just show you practically how this happens. Now, how do you change the sweep speed? There is a knob in the machine for changing the sweep speed. You can make it higher, you can make it lower. Now, I'll just tell you, let us just see this, see here. Now, can you see the, the, see the line moving? And now see the line moving. Can you see the difference? Now the sweep has become faster in the second half. First half, the sweep is slow, but the number of waves seen are more. But in the second part, when you see the sweep speed has become high, and now you see that hardly only one wave is seen on the screen. But what is the difference that you are seeing in these? See, when you were seeing too many waves, when the sweep speed was low, like here, see here, you were seeing too many waves, but the waves were not seen, the details of the waves, the single wave details were not spread out, were not seen very clearly, right? But when we increase the sweep speed, see, the single wave is seen more clearly, right? One, the wave becomes more clear. I can more clearly see the peak. I can more clearly see the slope. I can more clearly see the expanse of the wave, right? So this uh, is useful whenever you are trying to get details about the wave, right? So higher sweep speeds are to be used when you want to get some details or when you want to make some measurements about the uh, wave. Lower sweep speeds will be advantages when, let us see, so it says, let us just go through this, higher the sweep speed, lesser the number of waves in one frame, I've already told you. More detailed information will be given about a single wave and all the peaks and notches will be defined more precisely. Lower the sweep speed, more will be the number of waves seen in one frame. It will give better information about physicity and respiratory variations. Like if there is biphasic, there is reversals, there are notches, persistence of notches or a notch will be seen better in one wave with the uh, when the sweep speed is high. But persistence of notch will be seen better with low sweep speed, right? So uh, this is where the sweep speed change will help you. See here again, higher, uh, lower sweep speed, multiple waves are seen. Higher sweep speed, less number of waves are seen, but peak, slope, expanse of the wave, all these are more clearly defined. The nature of the wave will be more clearly defined if there is any intrasystolic notch or if there is a diastolic notch or these things will be more clearly seen. Now this is what it says. That is why whenever we want to make any kind of measurements or any details we want to know about the wave like notching etc. we will use high sweep speeds like when we are taking measurements of fetal heart, fetal heart rate, pulsatility index, resistive index, SD ratio, velocity time integral, slope, acceleration, deceleration time, etc. No? Then we would be using high sweep speeds because it will give us more detailed information about a single wave. While whenever you are going to make, I'll just come back to this slide, whenever you are going to look for any kind of persistence of, of notches or 
you want to see bidirectional flows in anastomosis and aneurysms or you want to look for respiratory variations like we see in mitral flow in constrictive pericarditis m mode in uh, uh, in ivc in chf etc no? then we might need high uh, lower sweep speed right for example the uh, there is a difference in the waves, uh, the wave pattern in inspiration and expiration, right? right? So like for M mode also, these variations we can see more clearly when uh, the persistence of these variations rather we can see more clearly when we keep the sweep speed low. Same thing here, reversals, how persistent is the reversal? If I see more number of waves on the screen, I can know about the persistence more clearly. Persistence of notch, I can again see more clearly when there is there are more number of waves on the screen but supposing i just want to see the notch is how uh, deep it is whether I, there is a notch or not then i would prefer a higher sweep speed so then it says higher the heart rate higher should be the sweep speed now how will you determine the sweep speed that how should you keep the sweep speed see Usually, we will increase the sweep speed till we just see two or three waves on the screen. That is when we are trying to make measurements. This would be high sweep speed. Whenever the sweep speed is high, you will just see two, three waves on the screen. And whenever the sweep speed is low, low sweep speed means, like supposing I want to see for persistence of notches or for uh, the uh, respiratory variation, then I would want about six to ten waves on the screen at a time. So there I can try that way that I reduce the sweep speed and I keep it in such a way that I see at least 8 to uh, 6 to 10 waves on the screen so that I can see the pattern. What is the pattern? Right. So this is basically the significance of sweep speed. So higher sweep speeds will give you more information about a single wave details about a single wave and a lower sweep speeds will give you more information about pattern of the waves. So I hope this was useful for you and you will be able to manipulate. Remember the knob for sweep speed is there in all the Doppler machines and you can manipulate it by that. Right? So this is all about sweep speed. Thank you.